That was a good it didn't answer. Worry me. It was a great answer. answer. But he yeah. went away looking a bit down. I think he wanted to upset me. It felt yeah. like that, you know. You know, there are <laughs> there are those out there that I think they're they're unhappy with themselves and they want Absolutely. to stir the pot a little. So I think I you handled that so diplomatically and with oh, no no emotion. So he got nothing from it. It was perfect. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I thought because um, normally what I say, say, you can my face tells everything. Right. But I sort of quickly put a mask on. <laughs> Good for imagine. you. That's hard to do that because it's personal. You it know. Is. Thank you. It is because your art is personal. Yes. But um, I think back at college, you, you started to learn. If the teacher said, "Well, I'm not really keen on that," then I'd try and say if, if that was true, whether mm-hmm. I agreed with that statement. And because he knew what he was talking about most of the time, he, he was right. And uh, without, you know, I managed to do what he thought I should be doing. And I, in the end, yeah. it did cur- turn out to be a better painting. Yeah. So yeah. Well, you have to be open to criticism, I think, in all walks of life. True, because, true. Um, true. Well, that yeah. way you can grow and evolve as an artist, too. Sure. So, of course. And then do you feel it's important for artists to connect with other artists? Well, I guess I think so. I, I think it's nice because to be around like-minded people. Yeah. I think that's because you seem to have a different menta- not mentality, but a way of expression and, uh, you know, it seems like a different feel to it. That's, that's so true. Do you so find true. that yourselves as artists? Yes. Um, You're depends. not supposed to be asking us any questions. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we'll forget questions for no. you. <laughs> Oh, you'll close me down. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. No, well, not at all. <laughs> we'll be more than happy to tell you that at yeah, some, point. You. <laughs> at some point. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, I think we all... We also, sorry, did, did I interrupt you then? No, not at all. Go ahead. No, but I said that I think that we learn about each other's art and pick up tips about exhibitions and things. And uh, I mean, in Leamington, it's got a yearly art in the part festival in the gardens, Jetson Gardens, which is wonderful. Mm-hmm. It attracts thousands of people, artists, the stores, demos, music, everything for the family there. And uh, it, it, everyone seems to co- converge on there. And in fact, I'm, I created a log canvas, a slog, a slog, a slice of a log <laughs> that I sanded, <laughs> primed and painted. And it's now in situ in, in the gardens. And I created it to mark the first event in 2014. Well, that kind of that kind of leads to my next question for you. And, and, okay. <laughs> and I thought you gave right. a brilliant answer. And this one is, you know, we all... It, I hate it when I ask this question to a lot of people because they always come back and say, oh, well, it's when I got my first box of crayons. But my, uh, yeah, my yeah. question to you is, sure. is when did you first have the ambition to be an artist? What, what triggered that? Yeah. Well, that is a very good question. And it, it does stem very back into my childhood, really. I think coming from a family of artists, singers, including opera, I naturally gravitated towards the arts and when I was a little girl I loved painting and singing and photography I got the opportunity to sing in a couple of bands but once I met my future husband I gave up singing mm. you know I still sing at home when I'm painting but my love of art grew over the years and uh, once I had my daughter and she'd become more independent I wanted to pursue a, a passion of mine which was art um, abstract art so um, I guess I was in my thirties, you know, about that time when I thought, this is what I want to do mm-hmm. more than anything. And uh, some years later, I decided to enroll at the local college to do a fine art degree. Mm. And they accepted me because they liked my portfolio. And, um, I also love composing theme music. And during my degree, I got a chance to paint while listening to my music in my studio space. Um, so with my earphones on, I translated the music directly onto the wall with paint. I was in my world, in my own world, and I, I absolutely loved it. How lovely um, is I also that? Lo- it's lovely, but, you know, when you're getting old, sort of, you know, in your 40s, you think, oh, you know, you've got to go and you've got to learn about art history, you've got to do essays, and I found it's all daunting. They're all younger than me. I had all this going through my head, you know? Mm-hmm. But... Um, but I did it. I did. Uh, I did the essays, and I enjoyed researching for things. And uh, I chose. That's where I found my style. Then, as well, I think. I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you mentioned the fact that you 
pursued your art career when you were a little bit older. I think so many people, yes. unfortunately, they go, oh, well, I'm too old. Or I have to learn all this stuff. The reality is, it, uh-huh. and, and I don't need to tell you this, Sonia, it's just a question yeah. of picking up some paint or whatever medium you're using, a chisel, yes. a hammer, whatever, and just do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, yes. it it's amazing. It, it doesn't take that long before all of a sudden you're turning out pieces of art mm-hmm. that you can be proud of. And Absolutely. it also encourages you to create more. And the more you create, the better yes. you get. And then all of a sudden, yes. before you know it, you're very proud of yourself. It's great for your self-esteem. Yes. I think Angie's got a next question for you. Yeah, but I also have a comment okay. about what you just said, which I really sure. loved, Sonia. And that Thank is you. that is that after you became a mom, you you know took time out to grow your child to the point where she was probably yes. going to school. And then uh-huh. and then you started pursuing what you wanted once again instead of, you know, giving up yes. on it. So many women, I think, do that. They put their family and their children, you know, yes. at the top of the pile. And I think you have to have a balance. The pile needs to be more balanced of the things Absolutely. that you enjoy. So I really enjoy that. Yeah, good. I like, Thank I like you. that. Yeah. It's very true. Yes, you, you need to, to be happy within your soul as well you know you, you have to be doing things that you enjoy right and i think it, 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 then you, you actually you're for more fun around the house as well true you don't true. feel the good yeah you know it's true isn't it oh, it's so true. <laughs> happy people beget happy people right right absolutely right absolutely i agree right and my next question is you seem very active in your c- creative community tell us what you like and dislike about going to various local art groups Okay. Right. Well, I am a member, as I know you've told you now, of the Leamington right. Spa Studio Artists, but I'm also a member of UK Handpicked Artists and Association of Midland Artists as well. So, that, yeah, as you can imagine, there are lots of coffee mornings where we all meet up and have a guest speaker to demonstrate their art and talk about it. But... Um, but I pick on something that you were talking about before, uh, which is like being an artist. I'm fortunate to have a studio at home, but it is lonely during the day. Mm-hmm. And of course, household chores call out at you and dinner times and whatever, which is why I love to be part of, of an active community so that I can actually go out there and meet people and discuss art in general. Mm-hmm. In fact, there's right. 